it's Vicky from the Higgins again and today I'm going to be looking at the clues on this glass bottle to work out its history. Carbonating water to make it fizzy had been invented in the 1760s but it was from the 1830s that these drinks were being manufactured commercially on a large scale and for this strong enough glass bottles were needed to stand the build-up of pressure and to keep the fizz inside. In 1872 in London Hiram Codd introduced a bottle design featuring a glass marble to keep it airtight. The globe stoppered, or cod neck bottle as it was called, enclosed a marble and a rubber washer. The pressure of the gas in the bottle forced the marble against the washer, sealing in the fizz. The pinched area in the glass neck stopped the marble from falling down to the bottom of the bottle. Two pinched notches slightly higher up stopped the marble going back up into the top so you could pour out the drink. To reseal, you turn the bottle and the fizzing would push the marble back up. The groove here at the top would have kept the washer in place. You probably won't be able to read this, but on the back at the bottom here, we see the name Redfern Brothers, Bottlemakers Barnsley. The glass industry was huge in Barnsley, second only to coal mining. The bottle was made in a mould, and we know this because we can see a faint join line where the two halves met. Handmade versions were being made as early as 1877. There are some bubbles in the glass suggesting that it could have been handmade, but the uniform thickness of the glass means that it was probably machine made. If so, it would date to between 1906 to the early 1930s. So who was using this bottle in Bedford? On the front of the bottle, we see the name Taylor, Braun and Flood. And then we have the chemists here and Bedford at the bottom. The company ran from 1780 to 1984 and would have manufactured their own mineral water and other soft drinks to go in the cod bottles. For some of those years, their shop was at 69A High Street. This building was demolished in 1937 and the Mercy in Action shop is where it would have been. When cod bottles were superseded by screw tops and crown caps and you could no longer take them back for reuse and get the deposit money, children would smash them to get at the marbles to play games with. We have other items, once sold by Taylor, Braun and Flood, up in our Somewhere in England gallery in the Higgins. We look forward to seeing you soon.